A metaphor is a Trojan horse. It sneaks a new idea in, disguised as a familiar one. A metaphor is a Trojan horse. A metaphor is a Trojan horse. A metaphor is a Trojan horse. Well, hurry before I break the door, says Barnacle Bill the Sailor. A rare and tear and rat and roar, says Barnacle Bill the Sailor. I'll spin you yarn and tell you lies. I'll drink your wine and eat your pies. I'll kiss your cheek and black your eyes, says Barnacle Bill the Sailor. I find it difficult to remember the true meaning of Christmas, or at least I used to until I found this piece of stock footage. It's dung beetles fighting over a ball of shit. Animals are a rich source of metaphors like the Archaeopteryx, an early bird seen here catching a worm. That was a long time ago, of course. It wasn't until 150 million years later that the pagan Romans celebrated Christmas as a festival of overeating, drunkenness and nudity. We're a bit more uptight than the Romans, so the nudity's dropped off, which is a pity in some ways. They didn't call it Christmas, of course. They had their own totally legitimate set of gods to name things after. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Which sound like dumb names now because modern astronomy has run off with those words like a thieving dung beetle. Anyhow, 300 years too late to save Jesus, Christianity was taking root in the Roman Empire. To make the new religion more palatable, Pope Julian said, you can keep your midwinter festival, your overeating, presents, mistletoe, bringing bits of tree inside, but it's all about Jesus now. And soon enough, people forgot the reason for the season. Yeah, you can cast down our gods, but don't mess with our public holidays. Incidentally, if you bring a tree into the house, I'm thinking that's enough. It's a tree and it's inside. You've smashed the ancient boundary between indoors and out. There's no need to put lights on it. The Christian dung beetle runs the world for over a thousand years, but nothing's forever. And sometime around the 17th century, the church loses the ball to a whole new beetle. Money. But money does exactly the same thing that Christianity did. It seizes the world, but it says... You can keep your baby Jesus, and your overeating, and your mistletoe, but you also have to buy lots of things. And that, I believe, is the true spirit of Christmas. When you're taking over the world, don't crush the culture that came before you, absorb it. Say their stupid festival was your idea all along. So, in the future, when something replaces money, I'm confident that they'll celebrate Christmas as well, and that they'll pay lip service to our way of life, perhaps by pretending to buy things off each other. And that, for me, is the power of metaphor. It means I can stop thinking about complex ideas and just imagine animals doing things like this beaver getting busy. Although I guess that's more of a simile. I've got no problem with America, but I strongly object to flags. How many people know this, but all potatoes are shaped exactly like a duck. Let me demonstrate. And there you are, shaped exactly like a duck. Now, some people might say that you bashed it into that shape with that cookie cutter that you wear around your neck. <laughs> this? No, no, no. I, I, I just wear this to, um, to remind me what shaped potatoes are. <laughs>